I will fight to the death. If I want that man, he will be mine at the end of the day. That is a guarantee. I'm Amber, and I'm the girl for Your Bachelor. I hope he's tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> um, I hope that he is at least six feet tall and has nice white teeth and a tan. So I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I would really like the opportunity to meet somebody that I could marry and potentially have a family with. And you're only young for so many years, and. I think it would be a really exciting and fun opportunity. I would really like an opportunity to meet a man that is obviously chosen to be one of the most eligible bachelors in Canada. Do you know who the, I get, we don't know who this person is going to be. Well, I mean, obviously you don't know who it's going to be, but if it's somebody that I'm attracted to, I'm sure that I'll know right away. And if he is someone that I'm attracted to, I would definitely be fighting for that attention. Confidence is number one. If he's a confident, sexy guy that is wanting to have a good time and enjoy life and hopefully wants a family, then that would be the kind of man that I would be interested in meeting. I was married. I was married young to a wonderful man that um, just wasn't for me. We were together from the time I was 19 years old. He was um, significantly older than me. He was, um, he was 32 when I was 19. Uh, we were together for just shy of five years. Uh, we were married for less than a year. So I was a little bit young to make a decision like that when I did. And hopefully, um, being that I'm more mature now, I'll make the right decision this time. I'm not gun shy in the decision making that I make. Um, I think that I did make an excellent decision. I just made it at the wrong time in my life. So I would like to make a decision now as a grown woman and not a 22 year old girl. I love to dance. I love to sing. I love karaoke. I like to do anything fun. Um, for example, I was just recently in Cancun and they had an um, electronic bull set up on the event area and you could, you know, participate in riding the bull. And I'm proud to say I beat 12 men and 8 women and I won the entire event and it was fantastic. So this is my family, part of it anyway. <laughs> this is my dad and Rose. Um, I live in the house with my dad and Rose. I've always, uh, I've always let Amber uh, lead her own life. She's made good choices so far, and uh, I'm sure she'll continue to make good choices. And I guess if you've got a, a wide range of choices, you're apt to, uh, to maybe come up with a, with a good candidate. So some relationships gone astray to realize what it is that you need in a person. So, and uh, I had to learn that myself. Uh, uh, a number of times over my life and uh, eventually you get it right and uh, you know I think she's had enough enough experience now to probably know what's good for her and uh, when she when she finds it I think she'll know. Isn't that really for you if you were a single guy you wouldn't be looking for a TV show to help you? No I don't think so uh, I'm a little old-fashioned in that respect but that's the way it's done nowadays so uh, you know people are uh, uh, people are matched up over computers and uh, you know in the old days we had to just go out and hope fate would take its own hand so now it's uh, Done a little bit differently. And, Come on, if you could be the bachelor, you would. Don't lie. Well, yeah. yeah so Let's be sure. real. Sure. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, dilemma. What if uh, they pick your dad to be the bachelor? I guess you're got off the show. Huh? Then I, I'm already not interested. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. I have just gotten to know Amber over the last couple of years. I've known her father for 38 years, and we just got together a couple of years ago. So I'm not really her mother, I'm just a, a very good friend and a confident and someone uh, that uh, shares a lot of interesting moments with her. <laughs> <Lily>. <laughs> she uh, confides in me in quite a few different things and uh, I think this will be a great experience for her. She doesn't need any help by any means, the guys are breaking down the door. So, um, but I think this would be an amazing experience for her. And amazing. yourself. Uh, um... Rose, your thoughts on the whole 
TV show, uh, trying to get yourself uh, a partner, computer dating, that sort of thing, because uh, that's not exactly the way it was for you when you were 26 years old. I think old. it's great. Get out there, get some experience, live life, have fun. And if you find the right person along the way, that's awesome. What girl doesn't want to be the sunshine girl? I got my mind set on you. I got my mind set on you. I got my mind set on you. Got my mind set on you. But it's gonna take money. A whole lot of spending money. It's gonna take plenty of money to do it right, child. It's gonna take was fun and exciting. Who did, what girl doesn't want to be the sunshine girl? It was a blast. I don't regret it at all. I can be 45 years old and tell my kids that, look, mom was cute one time. <laughs>what about a guy? Does he have to be a good cook himself? No, because I prefer if he wasn't in my kitchen. <laughs> so I would say no. I don't think men need to know how to cook. I think that um, he can shovel the driveway or mow the lawn while I'm cooking. <laughs> as long as he has an appetite and he isn't one of those, you know, nothing for me, I'm full kind of guys. Yeah, I think that there's something wrong with a man that doesn't want to eat. I would prefer to have a guy that wants seconds rather than somebody who is interested in a chicken breast and brown rice because I have no interest in eating a chicken breast and brown rice. So if you don't want to eat, you're probably not for me. So what we'll do now is quickly microwave our cream cheese, pepper, spinach, and sour cream mixture. Now I use the oven ready noodles, so you don't need to pre-cook your noodles for this portion. The noodles, as they cook, will also expand. So we spread them apart slightly. Do about three plus one on the end. Now what we'll do is we'll put a layer of our cream cheese, spinach, and pepper mixture on the top here. We have our lasagna with our cheese. And because it's quite high, I'm actually going to put it on a baking tray with some tin foil underneath it just in case the cheese does bubble over. We won't have cheese in the actual oven itself. We're going to start by covering it as well. Just for the beginning of cooking, this will come off after when we broil the top to darken the cheese. And voila! That is so good. <laughs>